Throughout my entire engineering degree, I used a mouse similar to this one right here. This old insignia mouse, you know, the regular left and right click. And I mean, it did the job just fine. But I didn't realize how much it was actually affecting my productivity and workflow until I switched to this mouse right here, which I believe might be the best mouse overall for engineers. For real. Today, I'll be sharing my experiences with this mouse so far and how it's tremendously improved my workflow and productivity and whether or not if it's right for you, I guess. And I know what you're thinking. The first question that usually comes up to mind is, do I really need a really fancy mouse? I mean, my Insignia mouse did just the job for the longest time. And I mean, I didn't feel like I needed to make a change until I actually did. But the thing is, I did not expect it to impact the way I work to the degree that it actually did. Literally, it changed the way I work. Literally. This was me when I took it out of the box for the first time. Whoa. <laughs> Literally, when I took it out of the box, I realized that it was gonna be a game changer for the way that I work. Obviously, the first thing that pops up is the ergonomics of the mouse. That first feeling when you put it in your hand for the first time might make you cry if you've been using an old mouse for a very long time. The mouse comes with a thumb rest and a subtle rubber grip to its body and Literally, it just fits in your hand so well. Like taking a look at the features itself, you have the normal left and right click with the scroll, obviously, which it can be pressed. And in terms of how loud it is, it's actually really quiet. Like, listen, listen here. Y'all hear that? It's so quiet. Just for reference, this is how loud my scene is. So loud, so loud. So quiet, so quiet. <laughs> it's the ASMR. So yes, there is the left and right button with the scroll and the mouse is very quiet as you can tell. A bit behind the top scroll is another button as well, which can be set to change the scroll type from free spinning to a ratchet scroll. The mouse itself is actually a bit heavier than the normal mouse. Um, you know what, I'm actually gonna, I'll actually weigh it for you guys right now. So for reference, this is my regular mouse. Can y'all even see that? I don't know if y'all can see that, but my insignia is reading 76 grams while my Logitech is 100, 142 grams. That's like double. That's like two mouse in one mouse. Two, my, two mice in one mouse. Two mice in one mouse. But the real game changer for me was making the transition from the regular left and right click mouse to a mouse which has more buttons. So yeah, the mouse comes with two side protruding buttons and a scroll wheel on the side which does kind of look like two independently scrolling wheels but I assure you it's just one. And this scroll doesn't work as a button like the top one does. Then you actually look at the thumb rest itself and you actually realize that the thumb rest itself is actually another button. So in total, you're getting four additional buttons on top of your normal mouse features. And these buttons are fully customizable through the Logitech application Logi options. I've never had a mouse that had an app itself. Um, so that was like crazy to me, not gonna lie. But through this customization is where I really realized the true potential of this mouse. You can actually customize your button settings depending on which app you are currently using. So if I'm using Google, I can have a different button setup versus if I'm using something like SolidWorks or editing on CapCut. Now that is where my entire workflow changed. That is where it changed. Basically, I came in believing that this would just be another cool ergonomic mouse, but what I didn't realize was that I would start falling in love with it because of how much convenience that it gave me. Because of the buttons and customizability, I was able to use hotkeys that I use probably hundreds of times a day to these buttons, which made my workflow way easier because I didn't have to physically and mentally switch from keyboard to mouse and I had everything on the mouse itself. So at the end of the day, literally what you are getting from this mouse is another way to experience work in a much more efficient and convenient manner, which is also very comfortable. Okay, but how do you actually know if this mouse is for you or not? And is it actually worth the money? I personally bought this mouse for $130 Canadian, which personally was actually a huge budget for a mouse alone. If you actually want to check the live price though, I'll leave links in the description. It'll be affiliate links, so just check those out if you want to see. But honestly, I felt like it was an appropriate investment to make considering the amount of time that I spend at the desk. And I genuinely wanted to improve the way that I work. But to understand if it's right for you, really it depends on your work. Taking in what I mentioned earlier, what you are getting out of this mouse is the comfort and convenience. If you are someone who is tired of the pain of using just any old mouse and want something that can make the experience of working less straining, then 
this is for you. If you use a few hotkeys every day like no one's business, then this is for you. And this is the reason why I say that it might be the best overall mouse for engineers. Both engineers and engineering students are not strangers to being at a desk for hours. And you need another way to make that process more convenient and make yourself more efficient while working. And you may be using multiple applications every day like SOLIDWORKS or Excel, and you need another way to streamline the way you work. And literally, this is not limited to engineering work alone. I mean, I use this mouse so much for CapCut editing as well for doing videos like these. It literally is so great overall. But actually, how do you know if it's not right for you? Well, one thing for engineers specifically is if you are someone that uses CAD heavily like SOLIDWORKS a lot, then you may want to use something more specific for CAD design rather than getting more generic mouse, more of a generic luxury high-tech mouse. Again, like I said before, I think this is the best mouse overall for engineers. So if you have a specific type of work that you need technically, then you probably want to get a mouse that is tailored for that type of work. Or if you don't really use hotkeys a lot, which I feel like would be kind of rare in engineering specifically, then I feel like this wouldn't be best for you unless you are looking for something that would be good for ergonomics and would have that convenience when you do need it. Now, this wasn't a real deal breaker for me, but it may be for some of you guys. There actually isn't an internal compartment for the USB that is actually connected to. So if that's something that is really big deal for you, like you're on the go or you travel a lot with your mouse, then just something to keep in mind. But personally, my experience with this mouse has been absolutely phenomenal. Also, the battery life has been absolutely great. No complaints there. The only thing that I did have a complaint about is at the beginning when I did start using the mouse, I had some connectivity issues, but it was just because I had placed the USB a little bit far away and that there was stuff in between it. Just something to keep in mind if you do get the mouse. But other than that, no issue since, bro. And speaking of connectivity, you also have the option of a wired connection directly into the mouse with a cable. I actually do believe that this has been a genuine investment in the way that I work, and it has already paid me back through this. And it's only been a few months. If you want to check out this mouse for yourself, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the description just in case you want to do a check that out, and it also helps support the channel. By the way, if you're in the engineering community and you want to get yourself or another engineer a little a little gift or something, a little, a little something, something, go ahead and check out this link right Right here that's my video on the top 10 best gifts for engineers and engineering students thank you so much and peace out guys peace